Hello fashion sewers. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to line a sleeveless dress. I'm Colleen Julie and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have the lining of the dress and the dress itself, think of it as a duplicate copy of the dress. It's exactly the same, only, the only difference is that there is a zip in the centre back of this dress. Now we need the dress on the right side and the lining is going to be on the wrong side. I'm then going to open up the dress at the shoulders because it's not sewn at the shoulders and then I'm going to slide the dress or funnel it into the lining. So there we have it, the dress is almost there. So we now have right side of the lining matching the right side of the dress. And now focus on the upper section of the dress. This is where the connection is going to happen, where the lining will be actually sewn to the actual part of the dress. Here I'm at the armhole and I'm going to start sewing from the shoulder to the side seam, stop there. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side, start from the shoulder and sew to the side seam. So I'm going to pin all that into place and then sew and then I'm going to do the same for the neckline. So you're starting at the shoulder, pin and then pin all the way to the centre of the dress and that is where you will actually sew and stop. So I'll just put another pin there. So I'll actually start from the shoulder and sew all the way to the centre front and then do exactly the same on the opposite side. I'm now going to be sewing the neckline. I remember I'm starting from the shoulder and I'm going to come all the way to the centre front of the dress and then once I've done that I repeat the same process on the other side and then on the armhole I'm going to start from the shoulder and sew all the way to the side seam. So. Stitch. I pull my pins out as I go. Remember, you just need to just get to the centre front. I've done the other side just to save some time. Yep, and there. Back tack. And my machine cut my thread and then I'm going to sew the armor. I'll just turn that over you just you're just going to be doing it the same through all sides of the armhole and the neckline because this is where the actual dress will connect and um, you'll see a nice, clean, professional finish once you've done. So remember, I'm going to stop at the side seam. So it's meeting the other stitch seam that I've done. There, we've done it. Oh. I'll just have to unpick that little bit there and flatten that out. And that it happens sometimes when you're just using pins and then I'll just restitch that. What I'm showing you here is the harm armhole and I've trimmed and graded and clipped into the curved seam just to relax that and then I'm going to do the same on the neckline. Trimmed and grayed my seams along the armour and the neckline. The next thing to do, as you can see, I'm working on the wrong side of the lining and I now need to put the lining inside of the dress. So going to the bottom end, I'm going to reveal the dress, pull it through, like so. So you've got the right side of the dress and the right side of the lining and then I'm going to put the lining inside of the dress. So I'm going to pull out the 
shoulders and all points. This is, where, this is where it can get a little bit tricky. And then I'm going to put the lining into the dress. There we go. So we're starting to have a line dress here. If I put it like that, you can see that the lining is now inside of the dress and what I need to do is press my armhole and my neckline and I'll show you the next stage in where we need to connect the shoulders. Once you've pressed your armhole and your neckline the next connection point you need to make is the shoulders. So you, you can work on the right side of your fashion fabric or the lining, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put my hand in between the dress fabric and the lining and I'm going to come up, funnel my hand through the shoulder. There we go. And I'm going to grab the back of the, no, what I'm going to do first is create a little tuck in there in order for me to be able to grab the back and then pull it through the hemline of the dress so I'm actually making sure that I'm lining up the seams of the neckline and the armhole so I'll just put a pin in there to make sure that I've done that and because you don't want it to twist remember and I put another pin in there and then what will happen is you pin all the way around as you're showing in a minute and then you'll actually sew so once you've actually matched up your shoulder you should have this little funnel here and I'm going to start sewing from this point. Make sure all your seams and your notches are matched up and open. And you're going to sew all the way around, meeting at the same point in which you started. Keep this turn your width as you go. Make sure your seams are open. I don't sew over my pins. And I wouldn't recommend you do either. Oh, that one's coming out by itself without any help from me. There we go. <laughs> my pin it all the way around. Turn my work. Going. Remove my pins. Just that a little bit. I'll turn it around. I'm on the last leg now, as they say. Right, so I'm coming back to the point in where I actually started. And just back, tap there. And cut my threads. So there we have it. This is what your work should look like once you've sewn your lining to your dress. You're going to find there's some bulk here and that's because the lining and the uh, dress itself is all bunched up inside and you have the lower part of the dress where it's two separate so you've got the dress here and the lining here and it's connecting as remember at the armhole and the neckline so the magic happens when you put your hand inside of the dress so the right side you get the top pull it over the lining and there we go right, let's see if I can just put this out like this and obviously that's going to need some pressing um, you're going to connect the lining to the zipper tape um, once the lining is actually in and there we go nice armo net lines are joined the lining on the inside of the dress looks all beautiful 
So all the raw head, all the raw edges of the seams are all hidden inside of the garment. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. It may seem a little bit difficult putting a lining into a sleeveless dress. You just need to remember to focus on the shoulder area and getting that right and your lining to your dress will turn out okay. If you have any questions or comments that you wish to make, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you in my next video.